killed it. Well, you also killed your Saturday, hot dog. I'll see you in detention. Assistant Principal Wilson, you want to see my district? Sure, but uh, I dabble in magic too, so I'm not easy to impress. Pick a card. Now, remember it, and put it back. Is it the Nine of Diamonds? No, but good guess. Well done, McAllister. Might want to hold the applause. You like magic? Poof! Your Saturday just disappeared. I will see you in detention. Remember, in order for it to record, I have to continuously apply it. So get her to say something rapido. Capish? <laughs> Perf. Now we just have to talk to her. Emoji frightened face. Hey there, Deb. In. Um, I'm Bryden. This is Adrian. Since we never formally met, we figured we'd say hi, and hopefully you'll say hi back, and then I'll say something, and you'll say something, and before you know it, a full-on combo. Stop talking. Let her talk. <laughs> Uh, so if you want to say hi back, uh, any hi will work. Hello! Hey! Sup! Hello! Your friend looks like a clown. Mm -hmm. Who's the clown now? Nothing suspicious yet. Well, if she's really planning something at Tuttle's launch tonight, she's got to make her move soon. Then let's go to work. We're going to track her every moment. Hey there, Dev. Finn. So I heard one of your brothers is a mechanic. We're building a water-powered car for the tech fair, so if you could spare any parts, that'd be awesome. What's in it for me? Oh, really? I was expecting a no or a get out of my face, but we'll work something out. I'll get back to you. Dr. Crawford? Please hurry, Owl. I only jammed the camera feed to this office for one minute so you can look through Dr. Crawford's files. Relax, Addison. <laughs> you know, I pace if I have legs. Michaela, can I help you? Uh, no, ma'am. I was just dropping off these files you asked for. Thank you. Um, I uh, actually have some others for Professor Cato, but I haven't seen him. Neither have I. I'm starting to get concerned. Would you like me to try to reach him? No, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, Michaela. You're doing a very nice job here. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Keep it up. Start a search of Professor Cato's last known addresses. I will right after my bit rate returns to normal. That was close. There you are, two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! Very good, Rye. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm? I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you.
Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian? In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Cafe Adam's special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises would work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. Mango coconut foam soup. What was I thinking? See that your pearls made from cold oil certification? Que idea tan loca! Sorry, I know I'm late. What took you so long? My meditation class introduced in yoga and I got stuck in the cow face eagle arms. It's, it's a long story. Then trying to find everything on your ingredients list was, let's just say a challenge. So which Adrian Adams culinary masterpiece is gonna wow Olivia James and change the face of space cuisine forever? I've got nothing, nada. We've got to start over. Okay, okay. I've been researching. There are muchas cosas things to consider for the perfect menu item. Space diets can't have too much sodium. The decrease in red blood cells creates unhealthy levels of iron durante el viaje espacial profundo. Vanish to English app during deep space travel, got it. Astronauts need extra calcium in a weightless environment. And there are too many freeze-dried options, pero no hay alimentos frescos suficientes. Not enough fresh foods. Hey, can we just stick to one language, please? This is what I do when I'm stressed. Okay. I need to create something that is not only delicious, but nutritious. And if it could be stored safely for the long journey into space, that would be la cereza del pastel. Icing on the cake. Wait, that's it. What about the perfect dessert? You may be onto something. We will make something that's never been tried before. Like a souffle. These sites list souffles as a top five choice for foodies across all ages. And with a few modifications, it could be high in protein, low in fat, healthy breakfast. Olivia James, prepare to be dazzled. Here's what I need. We will start creating before Cafe Adams opens. 5 a.m. sharp, okay? Okay. Of course we will. <sighs> Calming breaths, bandwidth. <sighs> How much longer, Addison? I've tapped into Spacing's database. Should have the backdated security footage from Dr. Crawford's office soon. <laughs> Sorry, Em. You usually put my hard drive to sleep by now. I just need to confirm Dr. Crawford's story about her conversation with Professor Cato. It could shed some light on where he's hiding. Hey, stranger. I'm just saying goodnight. I'm in. Sending it to the monitor. You've seen the danger. We have to destroy the prototype now. We've spent the last 10 years making great progress, James. We can't just throw it all away. I trust you to find a way to safeguard it. Fine. So he did tell Dr. Crawford. Where is this guy, Addison? And what's his next move? Hmm. Addison. I'm up, I'm up! So why are you connecting him to a tin of curiously strong mints? It's my cleverly disguised portable lie detector. It flashes green when you're telling the truth and red when you're lying. <laughs> or if you have really bad breath. Yeah. Breath mint? Uh, no thanks. All good, it's the last one and I wanted it anyway. <laughs> now tell us what you did with the prince. And about Black Star's secret plan. Don't worry, girls. I'm gonna get some answers from our new friend here. I just hope I don't have to use any unsavory method. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Black Star, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us about what? 
Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? <sighs> kind of late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstone's not after the prince, they're after Data. Data? Yes, Data. They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's a one of a kind. It, it took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're gonna use it to hack into a government satellite up there. Since this isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. But what about that phone call? Someone called spacing to keep the prince off that flight. That was me. I've been doing whatever I can to get this launch canceled. If that device makes it onto that ship, Blackstar's gonna have the ability to do all kinds of terrible things, like steal people's personal data. I never thought Blackstar was capable of anything like this. Daron made us believe that he was a humanitarian and an innovator that wanted to use technology for great things. But it was all a front. Why not go to the policia? I tried. Ha! Lie! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Truth is, I'm scared of Daron and what he might do to me if he found out. He has all this information in his hands. Who knows what he's capable of? But why would an internet security giant want to steal personal data? Why else? Greed. Daron wants to get his slimy hands on as much info as he can so he can sell it for billions. Personal info? You mean like all our emails and contacts? Photos and texts? Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? Yeah, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna be sick. We have to stop them. Looks like we might be too late. Now just moments away from watching Prince Xander take off into the skies. Cam, call your dad. Voicemail. He's gotta be in the control room already. There's no way I can reach him now. The hacking device. If we can find a way into Space Inc., we can stop it from getting on that spacecraft. I say we destroy it so Blackstar won't be able to harm anyone, ever. Kim's right. We have to get in there and wipe it out. We're running out of time. One thing I still don't understand. If nobody kidnapped the prince, then who took him from the safe house to the launch? I bet one of his staff members is working with them. A mole? A dirty, rotten mole. And I think I know exactly who it is. Ooh. Who is it? Good luck. Guess I'll just wait here, take it back. Project MC Script.